from the Ticats Audio Network. This is Just the Points. Good evening. Welcome to Tim Hortons Field. The Tiger Cats in all black with the gold numbers are set to take on the Calgary Stampeders. It's the only meeting between these two this season. And at the start of the year, no doubt, we were expecting a Bo Levi Mitchell reunion. He is on the sidelines for the Tiger Cats, not in uniform. We'll see what the last few games have in store, but business at hand tonight. Tiger Cats get a win, and they're in the playoffs. Now a 47-yard field goal attempt for Rene Paredes, and it is good, just good. He didn't have much leg to spare. So the Tiger Cats with that fake punt, giving up some field position, and all the Stampeders needed was one first down to get them within field goal range, and they score first. It's 3-0 for the Stampeders. There's 6.44 to go in the opening quarter. Rene Paredes has hit from 47. This one, a shorter attempt. It'll be a 30-yard attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. So two field goals has Calgary ahead. It is 6 nothing for the Stampeders. There's 11.21 to go until halftime. Matt Schultz in the game again. He's throwing deep for Tim White. It's caught. Matt Schultz, wow. welcome back. Now it's a foot race to the end zone. Tim White, the 10, the 5. <laughs> Touchdown, Tiger Cats. Whoa, what a play. Matt Schultz comes in and throws a bomb to Tim White. 70 yard touchdown, and the Tiger Cats are tied at six with a convert coming up to take the lead for the first time in this game. Unbelievable. Matt Schultz in a drive earlier and gets a 15 yard run for a first down, and now he's back for his first throw in months being out of the, off the field. And it's a big one. Tim White, great play on the ball at the top of that, coming back and meeting the ball at the highest point and taking it another 30 yards into the end zone. What a play. 40-yard field goal attempt for Mark Leggio to take the lead for the first time in this game. The kick is up, and it's good. A successful field goal from Mark Leggio, and with turn 42 to go in the opening half, the Tiger Cats lead for the first time tonight. It's a 9-6 lead for the Tiger Cats. Four receivers to the field side. That's to the left for Matt Schiltz. They started the waggle, now they back off. Here they go again, three of them. Matt Schiltz, patient, patient, throws deep, looking in zone. It's caught. Wow. It's a touchdown. Terry Godwin. Perfect pass from Matt Schiltz. This is impressive. Matt Schiltz puts this ball not where the route was designed, not in what you'd say a perfect place. He makes it up on the spot. He puts it to a spot that says, well, Terry Godwin, if you have the ability to go get it, go get it, but I'm not gonna throw the interception. And this time, Legio is good on the convert. Tiger Cats were down in this football game, six to nothing. Now, they lead 16 to six. Calgary going from right to left in this third quarter. Hamilton leads by 10. 46-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. Wow, just enough. Yep. Not much leg to spare, but it is good. And the Stampeders cut into this Tiger Cats lead. It is now 16 to 9. Great Mark Leggio steps up to attempt a field goal. Looks like this one will be a 31-yard attempt for Mark Leggio. Only been three points scored in this second half. Calgary got them. Mark Leggio trying to erase that. High snap brought down. The kick is good. Mark Leggio makes the field goal. And it's a 19-9 lead for the Tiger Cats. They get their lead back up to two possessions in 10 points with 9-11 to go in the football game. This is a 44-yard attempt. Paredes has missed from 47 in this direction. The kick is up. It is 
good. A clutch kick from Rene Paredes. And that gets Calgary within one score again. It's 19 to 12. It is a seven point lead for the Tiger Cats. And there's 5.49 to play. This will be a 21 yard field goal attempt for Mark Leggio. He's two for two in the game. He's hit from 41 and 31. Gordon White, the long snapper. Corey Vedvik, the holder. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is good. Mark Leggio hits it from 21 yards, and that gets the Tiger Cats back to 10 points ahead. It's 22 to 12 with a minute 19 to go. Okay, let's see here. This is this is interesting. So they just got the first down. I like this. Calgary's gonna kick the field goal right now on first down. This is going to be a, something like almost a 44, 45 yard field goal, but I love this play. Because you secure the three points now, you're gonna, you're gonna have to kick off. You, there's no option for the for the defending team to take the ball after the, in the last three minutes, so they'll have to do a full kickoff. And now you're gonna get the ball back and have a chance to throw your Hail Mary if you can get that on sides. Interesting. If you don't do this, Cal Calgary knows they're just gonna run out of time unless you take your points right now. 44 yard field goal attempt from Rene Paredes is good. They get the field goal. There's 29 seconds to go in the football game. And it's back to a seven point Tiger Cats lead. With Rene Paredes standing over the football on their 30-yard line. Looks like they've overloaded the left side. Paredes kicks it that way. Pretty good kick. Ball is up. Tim White jumps up, and he has it. No, that's Kai Loxley who jumped up and grabbed it. The third-string quarterback, who is also a receiver, he's a big guy. He jumped up and got it. Hamilton ball. It is big. He's a big body out there, and, it, and, and we've seen him with some big receptions at receiver this year too. Multifaceted athlete there and now 27 seconds left and it's the Ticats with the ball. Great job. One more knee from Matt Schultz and it's official. Five straight seasons in the playoffs for the Tiger Cats. They're in, they're in. They're hosting the Grey Cup this year and they're in the playoffs. Three games to go in the regular season, a chance to try to catch Montreal for that home game in the East semifinal. We know they'll play Montreal in the playoffs in that East semifinal. Pretty interesting that they play in the final regular season game yep. that could end up being who gets home field for the East semifinal. So almost like a, a two game playoff series, but this was important to get this playoff spot clinched and they did it.